Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today's video is going to be an easy WW friendly meal prep that I did for dinner this week. So today we are making baked spaghetti with zero point marinara and it should be noted that I have never made baked spaghetti even outside of WW before so there's a first time for everything. I was actually pleasantly surprised at how good this recipe turned out so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to do is spray your big pan with some extra virgin olive oil. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in. Then we're going to add in about a pound of 98% fat free ground turkey so that it's zero points, some salt and pepper, and one medium chopped onion. Once all of those ingredients are added in, you're just going to let this start cooking down on a medium heat. Then we're going to go ahead and get some water boiling for our pasta. Now for the pasta, I'm using the Barilla whole grain spaghetti. Since I'm on WW Purple, this is zero points, and that's kind of what inspired me to make this dish to begin with. So we're gonna go ahead and get that spaghetti cooking. You can cook your spaghetti to whatever your preference is. I personally like mine a little bit overcooked, but al dente would also be good since we're gonna be baking it. So that's kind of up to you. Just play around with it and see what you like in the recipe. And now that the meat is done, we're going to go ahead and add in some Italian seasoning. We're going to add some more black pepper. And we're also going to throw in some minced garlic. I chose to do about a tablespoon of minced garlic. Again, that is something that you can kind of play with and see what your preference is but I went with about a tablespoon. Then we're going to combine all of that. At this point, you're also gonna want to go ahead and set your oven to preheat to 350 degrees, just so that it's ready for when we get everything into the baking dish. To your meat mixture, you're gonna add in your marinara or your pasta sauce. Now this is the zero point WW friendly marinara. I just did a video on it yesterday, so I will link it in the corner so that you guys can check it out. But you're gonna add five to six cups of that into your mixture, combine it all together, and then we're just gonna let it simmer while we get started on the pasta. So to make this extra creamy, we're going to add some of the regular Philadelphia cream cheese. Since I'm using the normal full fat version, I'm doing five ounces, but if you want to use a third less fat cream cheese, you could use the full eight ounces. But since I had the regular cream cheese, I wanted to cut it back a little bit to save on some of the points for the recipe because I'm sure you guys already know cream cheese is a ton of points. But it was definitely worth it and the 5 ounces turned out just as good. Next, we're just going to go ahead and drain this pasta for a little bit. Then you're going to add in that cream cheese and start combining that together. And once you have that good and mixed up, you're going to add some of your meat and sauce mixture. I used about 2 cups of the mixture because I'm saving the rest to top the dish off. So it's kind of up to you. Two cups turned out really good for me, so that's what I would recommend. And once you get everything combined, we're going to go ahead and add that into a 9 by 13 baking dish. And you want to go ahead and spray it first, of course, that way it doesn't stick. Once the pan is ready, I'm going to go ahead and add in all of my pasta. Then I'm going to top it off with the rest of the meat and marinara sauce mixture. I'm adding two cups of mozzarella cheese into the recipe, so I'm putting most of it on top right now to bake it. You're going to throw it in the oven at 350 for about 20 to 25 minutes, and then once it came out of the oven, I added the rest of my two cups of cheese. This smelled absolutely amazing when it was cooking. We had it for dinner tonight. We both loved it. I think it's going to be a new staple. So I would say this recipe was for sure a win in our house. And I hope you guys try it. If you do, be sure to comment below and let me know if you like it. So once it was done, I cut it into 10 equal servings, which makes each serving four points each on WW Purple. I do not know the points on blue since there is pasta involved, but you could definitely do something similar with spaghetti squash or some other alternative and see how that turns out. So 
so now I'm just gonna pack this up you can store it in the fridge for a few days and it's also freezer friendly and I have a feeling it's going to reheat really well so there is the recipe thank you guys so much for watching again let me know if you try it down in the comments and I'll have my recipe in the description don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you next time